And, oh, I went back east uh, because my, my oldest daughter, my first daughter, Chelsea, had just been born. Um, so I wanted to get back. It was basically just a project hire for Hook that kind of bookended with that, you know, T2 at the front and, uh, and uh, Jurassic Park at the end. So that was done. I said, I got to go back to my newborn daughter. Uh, and uh, Doug Trumbull was starting up a project of all places in the Western Massachusetts. So barely an hour and a half drive from, from where I live. So, and I got an offer to do that. So building up uh, an image engineering department. So it was a brilliant opportunity to work with a legend and art department and the Kaliza Walzak group doing 3D and the model shop and motion control with Doug Smith who had worked on the original Star Wars. And it was like, oh my God. So that's, that's why I left ILM in the, uh, the first time to, to do Doug's gig. Uh, which would have been 92, and that's where we overlapped uh, among many times. Um, and then my old boss from ILM, Scott Ross, called me and said, I'm starting up this company in L.A. with Jim Cameron and Stan Winston called Digital Domain. Would you come on and be a you know, founding CG TD? I see, yeah, so DD was, we opened in 93, early 93. Stayed there for a couple of years and then got recruited by, so Warner Brothers wanted to open up a digital animation production CG studio. So I was the founding CG soup there. We called it uh, WBIT, Warner Brothers Imaging Technology or Wabbit.